Hey everyone, today we're out at Guadalupe River State Park. We're going to be hiking about eight miles, trying to hit most of the trails out here, and hopefully we'll get down to the river. Uh, I've only been out here once. Uh, it's a really nice area, uh, <laughs> full of South Texas cedar trees. Uh, but if you can get down to the river, uh, it's really nice. Uh, probably around eight miles today. We're gonna be hiking on several of the trails. Try to put up the map to show where we're hiking. Right now we're on the, let's see, uh, Hofzein Trail, which is 1.5 miles. And then we're gonna, that's gonna hook up to the Bauer Trail. Uh, then we're gonna loop around to the uh, Bum, Bam Gardner Trail. Uh, Bamberger, bigger. Why don't they just name them like Trail A or Trail B or Trail C? Uh, uh, probably going to try to hit down, head down the Golden Cheeked Wobbler Trail to the Little Blue Stem Trail Loop and the Curry Creek Trail. Anyway, we're planning on doing about eight miles today. Uh, got here a lot later than I expected, so we may have to modify what we're doing a little bit, but perfect weather uh, so we'll see how the hike goes today for sure Oh look, cedar trees. Are there any more? Are there any more cedar trees? Oh, yeah. There's more. I'm really not sure if I could have asked for a, a nicer day to come out here and hike. It's just perfect weather. Uh, middle of January. It's probably about 60 degrees. <laughs> uh, cloudy. Beautiful day. This is the time of year I always like to try to Get up off of the couch just a little bit more uh, last year was crazy so hopefully uh 2021 won't be as totally insane as 2020 but i mean look it's just beautiful out here totally uh thanks for watching my video uh, my name's Duffy and I try to go hiking as much as I possibly can and I try to uh, make little videos <laughs> totally for my entertainment but you know maybe you like it too so uh, please like and subscribe ring the bell for notifications so uh, you can get notified whenever I make a new video. I try to go hiking in some places in South Texas. And uh, it's fun to get out and see what every place has to offer. 
like and subscribe ring the bell for notifications hi hi You know, I could actually just sit here for quite a long time. Ah. Ah. Can you hear the children yelling? Ah. Peaceful sounds of nature. Okay, so if you have a place you want me to go hike um, in or around South Texas, make a note in the comments. Um, there's lots of places I haven't gone, and I have a lot of tr hiking trips planned over the next couple of weeks. But if there's a place you're like, dude, that hikes needs to go check out this place, let me know in the comments. Oh, look at this. Let me show you something real quick. That, that is a palmetto. I'm very familiar with them. If you haven't watched my video, I'll put a link up here or a tag up here to my Palmetto State Park video. Make sure you watch that one too. Palmettos. So we've hiked the uh, Hofzine Trail down to the Bauer Trail. Now we're walking up the Bauer Trail, which is obviously just a little gravel road. Uh, this used to be private property years ago. I don't know exactly how they got it over to the Texas State Parks, but I'm glad they did. So now we're walking up the Bauer Trail or the Bauer Road. And we're going to hit to the Baumgartner Trail and try to loop around to the right and head down the Golden Cheek Wobbler Trail down to the river. Well, the sun came out, that's for sure. Okay, we are here. Let's talk about what we did. Parked here. We hawked down the, we hawked down. <laughs> okay, so we parked here. We hiked down the Hofzein Trail, down to the Bauer Trail. We've around to the Baumgartner Trail. We are now here, and we are gonna walk down the Golden Cheeked Wobbler Trail to the river. And then we're gonna come back up, and we're gonna go around the Curry Creek Trail, back around the Baumgartner Trail, back to the car. Sounds like a good time. The sun's out. Didn't bring my hat. <sighs> Gonna get some burnt. <sighs> Excuse me. Do you know which way the river is? That way or this way? That way is the Curry Loop Overlook and that way is the river? Thank you. Okay, so the trail, the Wobbler Creek Trail down to the river is about a mile long. And it's basically just the road down the power lines. So let's whip through this really quick, okay?
there's actually people in the river in January, which is not really that unexpected. So the Guadalupe River is pretty nice. Definitely a uh, place to come out and uh, work the hike down here. Uh, on the other side of the river, right over there, is actually the other side of the park, uh, which is a lot closer to get to the river. You can just park and walk maybe 100 yards down to the river if you park on the other side. So is uh, anyone expecting me to fall in the river? Seems like something I would do, right? Not gonna happen. Sorry. I do, however, totally think that I can make that jump to get out to the middle. No, better not. Close. The uh, total downside of the one mile walk down to the river is the one mile walk up from the river. But that's okay. We'll be fine. It's a really nice overlook here of the mountain of the mountain. Behold the mountain. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's a really nice overlook here of the Guadalupe River. There are no mountains. This is halfway down the Wobbler Creek Trail. River. Up over there is the, uh, you can possibly see it on the camera, the playground and parking lot for the rest of the Guadalupe Park on the other side of the river. Uh, from there to where I parked, it's a half an hour drive to get around. So if you're looking just for that river access, stay on the main side, because it's got a lot more river access. If you're looking to hike, come to this side, more hiking trails. As I was saying, whenever you come out to this side of the park, you have to kind of drive around. And it's kind of weird because you go through an area that you go across some cattle guards and there's signs that say, warning for the, uh, roaming livestock. Hello, horse. Uh, definitely can be an unusual experience. And then you end up coming up to this like little just, you know, gate that you have to enter the code to uh, be able to access the park. Okay, so we made it back to the top of the hill on the Golden Cheek Wobbler Trail. And we're going to hang right, go down that way. The Curry Overlook Trail, which is 1.2 miles. And then we'll probably have another mile 
back to the car. So we probably got about two miles left. Uh, this is, this trail is the Curry Creek Overlook Trail. So I've been on this trail last time I was out here and it does definitely overlook an area, but it's not really cleared out. It's not really an overlook where you can like hang out and chill for a little bit, and enjoy the view. It's a lot of trees in the way, uh, but I'll show you when you get there. Been a good hike out here today. This is a really good uh, park. Uh, for multiple different reasons from hiking to camping. All of these trails out here are bike able, bike able, bikeable, bike. <sighs> All of these trails out here are rated for mountain bikes. That is bike able. In case anyone is curious, I've just made up some words. Okay, so this is kind of what I'm thinking the overlook is. I can hear a creek down there, so I'm assuming it's Curry Creek, but you obviously can't see anything because of the trees. Uh, there's really no way to get down there. But definitely a nice view out. So that's the overlook area on the Curry Creek Overlook Trail. Um, you know, it's actually a very beautiful trail, but uh, not too sure about how much of an overlook there really is though. Let's see what's up here. <clears throat> Okay. A little bit, a little bit of an overlook there. It's an airplane. <laughs> We're close to civilization. <laughs> We're down here. Uh, so right there, looks like a house. Can't tell, but let's see. Oh yeah, there. Maybe you can see the creek down there a little bit. All right, we're done with the uh, Curry Creek Overlook Trail. And now we are back to the Baumgartner Trail. Uh, we just came from down there. And we're headed back this way to the, we're headed back this way to the car. Um, 
had to look both ways before I merged into the road. Uh, we'll say the Curry Creek Overlook Trail was great. That's a good trail. Uh, 1.2 miles, nice views, good diversity of uh, hiking. Definitely recommend that. So we are now nine tenths of a mile back to the car and we get to go across another little plain area. Plain, field, grassy, grassy area, flat area, open, grassy, flat area. We get to walk across this area here, back to the car. Hey everybody, thanks for watching today. Today we hiked out at uh, Guadalupe River State Park. On the northern side of the park, we hiked uh, in the Bower section, which is a little bit of a drive away from the main section of the park. Hello, horse. Uh, we hiked, basically we hiked the outer uh, edges of the park uh, going counterclockwise. Uh, hiking all the trails. It's a really good area. This is a really good park. Enjoyed it a lot. Lots of good trails. Well maintained. Good views. Look at that. See someone. Someone is maintaining the tree by propping a rock up under it. Awesome. Well maintained. Uh, it's a really good park. Uh, definitely recommend coming out here. It's just you know, under an hour outside of San Antonio. Easy, close to Bernie, New Braunfels. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment with any uh, comments or questions. And I'll try to answer those. And if you have a place you want me to go hike, let me know. Thanks.